So if you're a parent and you're considering like snack habits and what to buy or how to approach like snacking with your children, there are two, two variables that are critical. One is frequency or timing and then content. So like we talked about before, refined, anything refined carbohydrate, obviously sugars are like the most purely refined form of carbohydrate, but even other things like goldfish crackers, chips, you know, granola, brownies, cookies, obviously. But it doesn't just have to be like the obvious sweets. So, I mean, just saltine crackers by themselves or goldfish crackers by themselves, eating eating those, they are adhesive, they kind of stick to the teeth, and they provide the bacteria with a, with a really like pure form of carbohydrate that they can metabolize. So when you're choosing your, your snacks, you want to try to stay away from refined carbohydrates, snacks out of a bag, goldfish Cheez-Its, things like that, gummy snacks, sticky candies, and you want to focus more on whole foods, so vegetables, fruits, protein, dairy if you're not allergic, nut-based stuff if you're not allergic, anything that has a fat or protein component or a vegetable component, the bacteria don't metabolize those things, and so they're not what we call karyogenic or cavity causing by their nature. So, and I know that those a lot of times aren't kids' preference, but but those are the better choices. And even doing like creative things. So again, if your child doesn't have an allergy, and you could add peanut butter to your crackers, or if you want to put cheese on crackers, or if you want to do things to try to like add to mix fat or protein in with the carbohydrate, then that's going to make those things less. Um, cavity initiating than they would be in their pure like plain form.